Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I wanted to just do a quick review with you how my planner system is going for 2024. I'm actually really happy with all of the products that I have chosen for this year's lineup. This is something kind of new for me, actually. A lot of these things, I've been working in planners for a long time, but this is a totally new system. And I will just review with you what it is I'm using. So I'm using the Erin Condren Productivity Planner, and that is for my YouTube videos and general notes. This is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my scrapbook memory keeping system for the year, and that's the Hobonichi Han. And then this is my inspirational journal where I record quotes on things that inspire me. And this is my, for my Daphne's diary. And let's walk you through like the use for each one. So the simplest and most easy thing that I'm using this one for here is my YouTube channel. So in this one, I'm not concerned with filling up all the spaces. In fact, I really only want to highlight the spaces where I produce videos. So when looking at the month of January, I can see that typically without trying, I tend to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So according to this, that would be a good schedule for me to do. It is all random. Like the customization choices come out for FabFitFun, I record a video. I receive something in the mail, I record a video. And it just seems as though those things happen to fall on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I usually record and post a video the same day or the next day. So I would record it and I almost always post it right away. But um, this is another thing that I'm using it for was uh, keeping track. I was trying to do 30 plants a, a week and I was keeping track to see if that is something that is possible for me. And I kind of fell off here and not because I wasn't actually achieving this, but I had an injury and I started doing a fast. So that was the thing that stopped me from um, eating enough plants because I wasn't eating anything. <laughs> and I did a fast to help to heal my shoulder, which is uh, going pretty well. But anyway, so that's typically what this is for. And then like I'll do things like take notes when the FabFitFun customization choices opened up. And then I, I just keep track of, you know, what I want from each item, what the additional choices are, the value of the different things. So that's how I plan for my FabFitFun. And if you're not a subscriber, the seasonal box is opening Friday, February 9th. And if you are interested in getting in on that, um, I can't say enough good things about that box. I'm super excited. I've actually got two spring boxes on the way and I bought another seasonal one. So I'll be able to customize it and decide sort of what I'm gonna put in that box. So I'm gonna be <laughs> unboxing a bunch of fabfit fun things for you. This one is a really fun one. I'm super happy. Before I show you that, I'm gonna show you this. I got this for Christmas. This is something I have always wanted. Actually, I'd always wanted the HP Sprocket, but the Canon Ivy mini print is essentially the same thing. And this is what I am using to do my memory keeping in this. It is so simple and straightforward that it really lends itself to keep up with because I can print a picture if there is something representative of the day that I want to remember, or I can actually just journal and put a sticker. I've been using my washi tape shop stickers in this book quite a lot to decorate, and I'm really enjoying how that's going. But you can see how I'm really doing well, keeping up with all of my journaling. This is the time I was telling you where I hurt myself. I didn't take any pictures during that time and I did the fast and I was just recording how many hours the fast was going, 24, 48, 72, all the way to day four with 85 hours. And that's when I actually went back to work. My boss was kind enough to let me actually work with a coworker and double up in case I couldn't work the whole shift. It was a way of me testing out 
my um, mobility with my arm and the ability to do my job and it went fine so I was back to work after that four days there and then my daughter and I had um, doctor's appointments together we made kind of a fun day of it and she was in love with the plants that were at the lunch that we went to after our doctor's appointments she really loves cactus and so I thought I would record that a lovely lunch with friends my son and his running endeavors things that I've made oh wonderful craft day with friends my beautiful Daphne's diary magazines really enjoying those this is oh secret cupid swap something you can watch for coming up on my channel I received a gift from Australia and I sent a gift to Los Angeles so that will be coming what I'm sending and what I'm receiving and this is how I've been keeping track of what's been going on I haven't designed this page yet that's for the start of February but I just thought since we're a month in now and I've been enjoying the system I would share with you what I am doing since I did the unboxings and shared with you all of that. And this was some happy mail that I received from Janice. I was really thankful for these cute little butterflies that she sent me. And I got them on this day, the 37th day of the year. 37 is my favorite number. And, uh, and I was saying today was filled with sunshine, literally and figuratively. And it's so funny that I didn't even realize that when I wrote it, how happy of a day it was. And it just happened to be my favorite day, <laughs> like my favorite number, the 37th day of the year. So anyway, so that was really cute. And that's how I'm using that. My functional planner is the weeks. So I use the, the opening months just to record what shifts I'm working. If I'm doing any unusual shifts outside of my regular schedule, any overtime, taking sick days, all of that kind of stuff gets recorded in here. That way I have a quick reference and record to keep track of how much time I have off, how much time I've used up, and uh, I can go back and, uh, and just track and make sure that the hours recorded on my pay stub match the hours that actually have been used. And then I use this left side here just to write down appointments and things that are happening, classes that I'm taking, and then the right side are my to-do lists and they are all of the things that I make notes about. This is the first time I used my Canon Ivy printer there. I'm using a lot of the fun washi tapes, stickers in this book. I really am enjoying how that's going. And um, a friend from FabFitFun gave me a, a set of markers in a Christmas swap that we did. And I've really been loving them. I've been using them quite a lot to highlight in my home and then I also have been using them like this in here as well to sort of pretty up the page and this is where we brings us to today. So those are the main system but one other thing I will mention to you is my Daphne's Diary junk journal. So the way that I am using this is actually a really cute way of recording inspirational quotes and I just cut out actually ripped out a bunch of pictures from the magazine and and pages and stuff and I put them all into this journal and then I have been sort of creating these little collages of like it's almost like an art journal because I've done some painting and some splattering and I've done some fussy cutting and some washi tape and I'm creating these really cute little pages and some of them are blank because I am just being inspired by the page. When I cut out something and I have things that I want to go together, I will put them on whichever paper I think looks best. I'm not trying to keep this chronological and I 
sometimes decorate things without actually even filling out this stuff. I just sort of get inspired by the products on my desk. Here's a quote that I chose. Self-discipline is the highest form of self-care. Thought that was really appropriate. This is so funny. I cut this cute little cat out and I was busy doing things on my desk and I just tossed it down and it fell on this back cover of the Daphne's Diary magazine and it looked like it was sitting on this little container and I thought this was just so cute. It looked like it was looking off into the trees. So I just said that's it. I cut out that paper, stuck it on here and made the cat like perched up on this little pedestal. <laughs> so that was like a happy little accident that happened there. This was like a real mix of stuff that I, I did some fussy cutting and then I started coloring and it was too dark. So I painted over with a metallic paint and then it, I really just kept adding layers and layers. I did this um, stencil paste over here. I put a washi sticker, but it was all to do with this quote, what you do today can improve all of your tomorrows. And it actually works really well in line with this next quote, which is, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. I thought that was a really good message to ponder that the things, the choices, everything that you do every single day really impacts you in the long term and you won't reap the rewards of doing hard things the day that you're doing them necessarily, but in the long run, you will benefit. This was one of the first pages that I did. I really was inspired by this film strip with all the flowers in it. And I created this really cute layout with a bunch of just collaging and paints and paste and papers. And uh, just says, I'm never parting with this. And love at first sight. And love at first sight is how I feel about the Daphne's Diary magazine. As soon as I saw these magazines, I fell in love at first sight. Uh, I do a lot of walking and this is a good reminder as to why walking is so good for you. All the benefits of walking, that it makes you happy, it reduces stress, it makes your mind healthier, it puts you in nature, like all of the things. This was another film strip. I loved the two images here of flowers, but I didn't love the center one. So I actually cut it out and I fussy cut this really interesting collage work that a girl does with reused, recycled products and she creates these beautiful images. I thought they were fantastic and I highlighted these two birds to go with this quote and the quote is, the bad news is time flies. The good news is you are the pilot. So I thought again it goes in line with all of that. These are just some, the way that I actually have my um, fussy cut items sort of tucked in here that I try to incorporate them into the journal so that if I'm ever looking for a little image or something, I, these are things that I already have cut out from the magazine. And I love these little fringe pom-pom things that I have added to the uh, um, ends of each of the middle, front, and back of the magazine because they offer a really cute sort of texture to the whole page. This was I chose to be my center page because I absolutely loved the way that the um, image looked here and it says beautiful pictures. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Some of these things I'll leave alone. Some of them I'll cover up. Some of them I will uh, cover partly and let the backgrounds show but every day that I get inspired to create I just find what I want to make I find a page that it goes in I'm not following any sort of rules timeline or order I'm just creating for fun and I really am enjoying this I'm enjoying this so much that I actually went ahead and ordered a duplicate copy of the magazines that I could from Daphne's website because it was hard to tear into the magazines. I kind of love them so much that I want to keep them and really read them and enjoy them. But I also am enjoying using them. So I'm going to have one of each and I have some to use and some to enjoy. 
And so these are the last couple of pages here that are still yet to be designed. And uh, yeah, I like this material of the cover. It's holding up pretty well. And that is what that looks like. So if you are interested in seeing any of my processes, like how I create one of these pages in here or in here, certainly leave a comment down below and let me know. I thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to follow along, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.